So hi, Alex. Hi, Ed. Uh, we're here at Superbooth again. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Uh, Thanks you're for... here with Create Audio, but then also kind of Twisted, Twisted electrons. electrons as well, yeah. I'm uh, happy to be at the Create Audio booth, uh, showing some things that have been helping design. But uh, we have also have the Blast Beats here on demo. Um, it uh, uses the, F the YMF262 FM chip from uh, the, the Sound Blaster sound cards uh, that would, you'd find in the computers of the 90s. So it's got that 8-bit uh, FM sound. It's a multi-track drum machine. It has six uh, rhythmic parts, and then four synthesizer parts. And uh, the four synthesizer parts can either be uh, dual two operators or single four operators uh, synthesizers. Uh, Sims 3 and 4 are duophonic, so you can play chords with the 3 and uh, the 4 will trigger two at once for fat sounds. Uh, you, you can uh, program your patterns by um, 808 style, by lighting steps, or you can also tap them in in real time. You can also record them via MIDI. We have uh, MIDI output as well to trigger other drum machines and synthesizers with blast beats. It has uh, the patterns are 64 steps long, but can be shortened down to uh, well, one step actually, because it can be um, any multiple of 16 pages. And uh, what kind of sequencing tricks? You were kind of mentioning some stuff earlier, but you've also got kind of like parameter recording and things like that, right? Yep, all the fader movements can be recorded in real time, but you can also assign a fader movement to a step, so it's got the parameter locks as they're, as they're referred to in, in the electron machines. Brilliant. So, um, what else have we got in here then? Uh, we've got some little tricks, uh, performance tricks, like the stutter, which will repeat. It'll repeat the current step at uh, different speeds. And there's the bend, which is like a spin down. So with that kind of uh, spin down uh, bend effect, yeah. would that, does that also, if you're using this as your main kind of sequencer, would that also, uh, would that spin down the mini clock as well? So if it was running as a clock for other devices, would it spin the clock down on those as well? Not currently, but that's a really good idea, and it will in future versions. <laughs> At the moment, it's really just pulling down the, the internal clock of the uh, FM chip at various speeds. Cool, it's really effective, that. Yeah, it's, if, yeah. You can also record them in, in real time, so, so. so well, next time it comes around. There's also the freeze, freeze effect, which will uh, suspend communication to the chip, so it'll just kind of freeze it where it was and then bring it back when you release it. Um, there's also um, tremolo, tremolo and vibrato that can be assigned to the, the synth parts to bend them up and down. It gets a bit wild when you're doing um, tremolo on the volume with FM operators, you know, that if one's FMing another, it will act as like a, a filter kind of so, effect. So I'm seeing that we've also got four outputs. Is that, are they assignable then? Or are yes. They, okay. Within the, the limits of the chip, because some uh, parts are grouped together, especially the percussion ones, but yeah, you can um, route any synth to any output, and you can actually uh, automate the routing as well, so you can have a, a quadraphonic setup with things moving around, and, or perhaps send it into different effects on different steps. Um, and we've also got a headphone and then a mix output. Is the mix output just, mon uh, just a mono or stereo? It's mono, yeah. And uh, what's the SD? Sync. What's the SD card for? All your patterns and kits are stored on the SD card, so you can uh, quickly uh, swap around cards or download, you know, share your songs with friends. And are, th are they as like uh, SysX files or? Um, is it, is it they're so binary files, files right, really, okay, like text okay. files. Brilliant. So uh, it's kind of been out and it's available now. Or? Yeah, it's available now. Uh, it's been, you know, with the chip shortage, it's been tricky to get them out, but uh, yeah, I'm pushing them out. Um, and what's the kind of price point that we're aiming? It's uh, currently around uh, 589 euro including VAT. Brilliant, Alex, thank you very much. Thanks, Ed.